Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a new New York City vlog, but I'm gonna be doing something a little different. You guys know I like to mix it up sometimes. So I'm actually going to one of my friend's Netflix shows premiere tomorrow. I think it's like a premiere slash party. So I'm gonna just show you guys how I get ready for something of this sort, how I get ready for a big event. Obviously this is a Netflix show and it's one of my really good friends. So this is a huge deal. So I'm gonna just show you guys the process of getting ready. I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna go pick out an outfit. I'm gonna get my hair done. And you guys are just gonna see that entire process. And then I'll also show you guys what it's like when I'm at the actual event. So it's gonna be a really fun vlog and thought this would be fun to mix it up a little so that's the plan I am walking right now to go to Soho I'm gonna stop at some stores to get an outfit and that's the plan for today also need to get my hair done and I'll just show you guys this entire process all day today and some of tomorrow Alright, so I am going to show you guys the things I got. I got one thing from Zara. Well, actually I got two things. So I got this dress. And it's just like this green one. I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly, I actually personally love it. But I sent it to my friends and some of them said they didn't like it. So I don't know. I'm feeling it. I feel like it's very summer cocktail-y. So I might wear this. And then I also got these shoes from Zara that just fit well with the dress I tried them on and then from H&M I got this kind of the same vibe but not silk and it's just like a tan one so worst case I can wear that um, and then I also have a black one that's very similar to those as well and then I just picked up some sweet green which I'm gonna eat for my meal today because I only ate earlier and then I'm gonna get my nails done in a little bit. I just feel like I always have so much to do because I work during the day. And then I do all this stuff in the evening, but I'm just trying to get as much done as possible. So that's what I got. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet or which outfit I'm gonna wear, but at least I have some options and I'm gonna make my appointment soon for tomorrow. And I'm doing like a really cool, I don't know if, I, maybe I will include that in this video, even though it's not relevant, I'm doing this really cool sushi experience tonight. It's like an in at home sushi experience. So I'll just insert a couple clips of that later. Um, and then I have some stuff tomorrow after work and then I'm going to the event. So that's the plan. Alrighty, off to dinner at my friend Jack's apartment. This is the outfit. It's really, really hot outside and we're taking the subway, so I'm wearing like a little dress type of vibe. Also, John just got me these flowers, how cute. And I'm redoing everything, but I kind of organized a little bit. I'm doing something with that, which I'll show you guys later for my routine. And then I did some organization here. I just got a new desk. And you guys will see this updated, but we're gonna go head to dinner, we're meeting Alexa there, and we'll show you what we're having. Alrighty guys, just got back from the omakase home dinner and it was so incredible. You guys need to check it out if you are live in New York City and want a really cool at-home omakase experience. So as you can see, I'm wearing a little bit of makeup right now. I didn't do anything too crazy, but wanted to share my nighttime routine with you as well. So I have these two products from this company called Love From Yours. So this is the Yours Cloud Factory Gentle Foaming Cleanser. And then I also have the toner here. It's called the Bounce Back Balancing Toner. So I'm gonna wash my face with the cleanser. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of the toner on. So basically you take a survey and you share your skin concerns and you know, your climate and where you live and the pollution levels and all of that. And then they give you a specific skincare routine. These are the four that I have. And as you can see, these two are for the day and then these two are for the nighttime. So this is a serum, a moisturizer, another serum, and then a night cream. So once I use the cleanser and the toner, I'm then gonna use the nighttime one. So I'll show you guys the serum and the night cream. But just wanted to share this with you. I've been loving it, so I'm going to show you guys what I do, but I highly recommend. I'll show you my nighttime routine for when I'm prepping for an event like the one tomorrow with Netflix. So this is what I do, and let me share it with you. Okay, so the lighting is really bad in here, but this is the bathroom. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. First, I just 
wash my hands, obviously, because I don't want to be touching my face with dirty hands. And then I just wash my face off with water because I'm wearing mascara that's not waterproof because I just like to take it off really easily. So I'm going to just rinse my face real quick. I just take two pumps of this and rub it on my face. And as you can see, it's very foamy. It smells amazing. And it's really nice and gentle on the skin. And then rinse that off. And then what I like to do is take this Yours Balancing Toner. And this I use in the morning and night typically. But what I do is I take a pump and just pat it on to my skin. Okay, so I have my box now with my morning and night skincare. So I'm going to take out the serum and moisturizer because that's what I have for my night routine. And first I start with the serum. And basically what I do is just put a pump in my hand and pat it in to my cleaned and toned skin and then I do the same with this night cream moisturizer so I just like to take a pump and these will last you about 60 days so you can do the subscription one or just the one-time purchase if you'd like but I just do that and then rub the excess on my hands and that's it so my skin is nice and fresh. I'm ready for bed and my skin is gonna look great for the event tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to bed now and then when I wake up tomorrow, I will show you guys my morning routine and then show you the rest of the process of getting ready for the event. Good morning, guys. I just woke up, it's about 8 a.m. Just put my coffee in the pot to start making that, filled my water bottle. Gonna have a great day today, it's so beautiful out. I'm gonna wash my face with this cleanser that I used last night. So I'm gonna do that quickly. Alrighty, so my face is washed and dried and now I'm going to first start with just the same toner I used yesterday. So same thing, just a pump, pat it in and then I'm going to use this serum. So this is actually part of my morning routine. So they send you the morning and night as I explained. So just going to I like to just pat everything in because it's better for your skin. Probably not the moisturizer, but you know. So after the serum's in, you just use the moisturizer. It's part of my package. This one is specific for my skin. Just super gently. It smells so good. Oh, all the ingredients are so good in this as well. And then my last step is I use this sunny side sunscreen and this is amazing you just spray it like that and i'm also super particular about my sunscreen because i hate just like a heavy or thick one or even one that smells too much but this one is honestly just perfect so that's my morning skincare routine i am going to have coffee and then i'm working all day today starting shortly and then i'm going to go get my hair and nails done and then i'm going to my friend's netflix show so i'll show you that process later i'm also going to try to get a workout in at some point maybe during my lunch break but we'll see about that so that's the plan so i'll see you guys in a bit all right guys so i realized i need to shower and shave and then i also want to put tanning solution on so i have two options so i have this bondi sands one which i really like but it's kind of intense and a long process and then i also have these tanologist body and face tan droplets which basically you mix these into the moisturizer and then put it all over your body so i don't know which one i'm gonna do i think i might do the bondi sands just because I want to be really tan. All right, so I decided to go with the Tanologist face and body drops. And what I'm gonna do is just mix it with a random moisturizer that I have that I don't really care about wasting because it's gonna go on my entire body. So I'm just gonna take this one and basically put like four pumps, three or four, just to start. And then I take these drops and the more drops you put, the tanner you get. And I want to be pretty tan. I'm just gonna maybe even put a little more okay. and then I'm going to just mix that really well in my hands try to get it as even as possible I'm just going to spread it all over my legs 
All right guys, it is now 5.30 p.m. and I'm about to head to Dry Bar. I'm gonna get my hair straightened for tonight. Also, my tan has developed pretty nicely, I must say. Um, so I'm gonna go to Dry Bar, get my hair straightened, and I'm gonna stop at the store and grab a couple things because I just redid my desk and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like later because I wanna just finish it up first. And then I'm going to paint my nails because my coat already came off and then I'm gonna get dressed and head to Emily's to meet up with my friends before the Netflix event. Here is my straightened hair. I feel like it looks so good and I'm gonna still do my makeup and change and all that. I have some packages I have to quickly unpack and then I'm gonna try to paint my nails and just make them look a little bit better. And I'm gonna show you guys a step-by-step -step routine with my makeup because I tried to record it last time and I just didn't really explain well. So I have a good amount of time before I have to leave. I'm gonna go through and just explain some of the products I use and that sort of thing, nothing too crazy. And then I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm gonna go. All right, see? So I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible because I actually am running late again. So I'm gonna just run through, quickly name the products, and then time lapse when I'm doing the actual makeup. So first starting with the Rare Beauty Primer, I just like to put a little bit where I have larger pores. And then I like to take this Milani Make It Last. I got this off Amazon, it's really cheap. And I put it on my beauty blender and I spray that. And then I add the Sephora S Clean. This is from their Clean Collection and it's just um, a nice foundation that doesn't have bad ingredients. Clearly, I am too pale for it because I used that tanner earlier, but it's fine. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Bronzer. I'm just gonna add this Ilia eyeshadow. This is the liquid powder chromatic eye tint. And I just put a little. Now I have the Glossier Cloud Paint, and this is just a blush. So that's how it looks like when it comes on. But then. Next, I take a little bit of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I put a tiny bit, because this is pretty intense, and I just put it under my eyes and under my cheeks and blend that. Now I'm taking the Anastasia Setting Powder and just applying it because it is very hot out. And I also want it to set where I have my makeup. Like that. I take this angled brush and just a random palette that I have. This is from Maybelline. I think it was from CVS. And I take the brown color down here. Put some on the brush. And then I make like a winged angle. But I'm going to do it in this mirror because um, I want to make sure I do it right. So now I just take this Sephora very light um, powder and I go under my eyes. All right, so these are my two favorite products for my lips, the Kosas Sport and Pulse, this one, and then this Merit Lip Oil. It really adds a lot of color and it looks nice. And then I put the lip oil on top. Beautiful. I use this Merit Brow. This is basically just like a brown brush that has a little bit of tint, so I just use this to shape my eyebrows. And I know they're super thick. I've really been loving the thick look lately. Don't know why, but it's been my vibe. So, you know, I have naturally thick eyebrows and I've just been letting it happen. Okay, I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna add a couple things to kind of touch up my face a little bit. For example, I'm gonna add this Bare Minerals 
Bear Pro powder just a little bit over my chin because my skin is not cute there. I also do always use this Maybelline Sam Mascara. It's super cheap. It's my favorite. I discovered it and I have not gone back since. But I was already wearing a little bit of mascara, so I'm just gonna a tiny bit more. Alrighty, so this is the finished look. As you can see it in the light, my makeup is done. I'm gonna get changed and I'm going to put on my shoes as well. And I'm gonna head to Emily's and I will show you some clips once I get there. But this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed that little clip of me showing you my whole makeup routine because I'll probably do do an updated one for another like six or so months. So here is the finished look. I was really between two different dresses, but you know, I just wanted to be a little different and it's a summer cocktail party. I wanted to do something more fun and it's really hot out. So I chose this one. If you guys like it, I'll show you some clips from when I get there, but let me just do a little far back. So we like it. I'm going to call my Uber and head to Emily's now. We are arriving at the event Woo! with Audrey and the whole crew, but look how beautiful. So Such a freaking cool vibe. Yeah, we're gonna have a time. Alrighty guys, I am back now. I just took a shower and washed my face and did the first part of my skincare routine. The event was so much fun. It was right next to the vessel. I'm also wearing my retainer if you can hear a little bit of a difference with my mouth. But the event was so much fun. It was so cool just meeting everyone. And there were a bunch of models there. Because Batsheva's mom is CEO of Elite World Group. So it was just a really cool event. Definitely had a great time. And if you haven't already watched the show, go check it out on Netflix. It's called My Unorthodox Life. So I am using the Yours Clean Slate Exfoliating Wipes. And what you do is... You just go over your skin and then I'm going to use my serum and toner. I already washed my face, of course. I also put that self tanner on earlier. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to put the link to all the skincare in the description below. Go check it out. I've been obsessed with the products. You guys saw it's basically my entire routine now and they're all really great ingredients. A lot of the products are also personalized. So you can get your night and morning routine. And then of course you also can get the exfoliating wipes and sunscreen that sort of thing so i'm gonna put my code down below as well go check it out i love you guys so much thanks for watching and hope you have a great rest of your week Bye.